look, it's really exciting for the club, um, for the old shim boners uh, that remember coming down to uh, the spiritual home down here at Arden Street and standing on the terraces and, and watching the games um, down here. I reckon it's really exciting for those. And, you know, it's, uh, it's probably uh, also for our current day players, you know, trying to uh, link that past history and tradition at the footy club, you know, with obviously what happens today. You played in that game back in 1985. What can you remember from that day? Well, I don't remember a lot because I actually uh, suffered a concussion. I was knocked out by Trevor Poole from Richmond uh, in that game. Um, but one thing that uh, I constantly get reminded by is that Peter German reminds us all that he kicked the last ever goal for North Melbourne at Arden Street. So he doesn't mind sort of bringing that up from time to time. What did you love about playing on this ground? Yeah, well, I played a lot of under-19 football here and then obviously a um, short amount of senior football. Um, just very, very up close and personal with the uh, supporters. Um, as I said, people would be standing in the terraces. Um, you only had a very small uh, grandstand here and social club. and um, you know, So it brought you very, very close to, to the people and I think that's probably... You know, in one aspect is what's unique about this footy club is that it's a very inclusive club um, and uh, we do value our supporters and our members very highly. How would you compare, I guess, the current squad that's going to run out here on Sunday to the uh, squad that walked off the ground back in 1985? Uh, well, we played finals that year in uh, in 85. Um, so, you know, I think at the same time we had some, some experience in Ross Glendening, the Cracker Brothers, Wayne Schimmelbush, Keith Gregg, um, and as well as there was a lot of kids coming through, Darren Steele, Matty Larkin, myself, Michael Passmore, uh, you know, Ross Smith was young. So, you know, it's, it was a bit of a mix, and I think we're actually starting to get that similar sort of mix at the moment with uh, some of our more senior players getting up around the 27, 28 year, year old mark and uh, bringing some, cut, some young kids in. Is there anything special planned? No elephants or anything like that are going to run out there? No, I don't think there'll be any, uh, any um, real fanfare like ele elephants being let loose and, uh, on the rampage. Um, or uh, fireworks going off and burning grandstands down. I think it will be uh, pretty civil. Uh, there's obviously a lot of restrictions uh, around what can happen, and, but I'm sure the club will make it a really, uh, really good day and a special day for anyone that wants to come down. And I'm sure the boys will put on a, a really good performance. Would you like to see footy back here potentially in the future for, for points? Uh, oh, look, it's an interesting one. Now that the grounds have all been done up, a lot of these suburban grounds that... Uh, you know, are training venues for the AFL clubs. They've been done up to a point where the ground size is, you know, most of them are at least the same size as Eddie had. Um, some of the facilities are, are, are very good. Um, so it, it wouldn't worry me the, the one off here and there, but I think there's such good infrastructure at, at places like Eddie had, MCG, and, and a lot of the other venues that we use that it would be hard to sort of take, us, take uh, clubs away from there um, and back to these suburban grounds.